Good morning and welcome back to the hood table to all my hoodies. Please come on in. Make sure you like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the hood table if you could for me, please. And thank you very much. Today, it is with a heavy heart that we announce that Frankie Lons, the daughter of the R&B singer, songwriter, um, actress, Keisha Cole, has passed away. Um, she passed away per her children um, Sunday, which was her birthday. So yesterday, which would be July 18th, um, 2021. Today is July 19th, 2021. And, <clears throat> excuse me, again, um, her, one of her children, uh, Keisha Cole's brother, Sam, um, he has said on his social media that Frankie had overdosed at her Oakland home on Sunday. Um, that was also the day that she was born. That was her birthday, um, the day they were celebrating. Um, they said apparently she, while partying, partying, apparently she was using drugs and she overdosed. Um, that's what they are saying, apparently, allegedly. That's what they're saying. Now, I know in several areas at first, when I first heard the story, I had saw somewhere in the news where they saying that they didn't know how she had passed and that her uh her death was, you know, um the reason why she died was questionable right now. But then I kept on looking and looking and then there was another story by the son, Sam, who said it was actually an overdose. And as you know, uh Frankie Frankie, Keisha Cole, their entire family, they, they didn't have some struggles, a lot of ups and downs, you know, over the years with Frankie trying to stay clean, um, the, the family, the children trying to help her stay clean. There was, you know, a documented battle with her addiction and her relationship with Keisha and the, one of the other sisters, Frankie, uh, Frankie's other daughter, Nephi. Now we remember them because, of course, there was, uh, BET, uh, several reality TV shows on BET, and that's where a lot of their pains and struggles were chronicled for the public to see, and that's where they also dealt with or showed how they were dealing with their mothers on and off again drug drug addiction. Now, Frankie, they they had said that she had you know her addiction was it was off and on it was off and on it it was a real struggle for her, and at that time of her birthday party they claimed that she had relapsed. They had they claimed that she had relapsed. So it is very, very sad. It's a very, very sad time for um a lot of people who really followed their story, a lot of people who fell in love with their family. I for one um been a big fan of Keisha Cole, I mean for years, ever since she first came out with her music. Uh we know that Keisha Cole from her uh documentaries, from her reality shows, that she was adopted at a very young age. Her mother and father, you know, had to give her up um at a very young age. And so once Keisha Cole got a little older and started making music and getting really famous and everything. It was around that time when she kind of reunited with her father and with her mother. And if you remember the TV show, The Way It Is, that um, aired from 2006 to 2008. At that time, uh, Frankie had just been released from jail and she was still struggling with drug addictions. And um, then there was a second reality show called Family First that premiered October 9, 2012. And then there was a third reality show, um, Keisha Cole called All In, which premiered on February 24th, 2015. Um, then Frankie and Nephi, of course, they had their uh, docuseries, which was basically a spinoff of Keisha Cole's reality series franchise. Um, that was also on BET, and that premiered on August 25th, 2009. And that series chronicles the lives of Frankie and Nefertiria Pugh, uh, Frankie's other daughter, Keisha Cole's sister. Um, and in that TV show, we we saw a lot of heart-to-heart -heart moments and a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of struggle between Nephi and her mother and their relationship with Keisha and the brothers. And they come from a very large family. They have a very large family. Um, but yeah, so you guys, that's just a little... Um, just back info on, you know, Keisha Cole and her family. But yes, um, Keisha Cole's brother, Sam, uh, again, told the public on social media that their mother overdosed at her Oklahoma Sunday on her birthday. And she was 61 years old. <sighs> 
so sad, so sad. The family, you know, they, they try to keep on Frankie. They try to keep supporting her um, day to day, you know, with her addiction, helping her to, you know, stay clean and everything like that. But uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, she has passed away. And if you can remember, there were times in the past, like, in 2000 i think it was 2009 and in 2020 it was like rumors that frankie had passed away but you know those were false of course as we know but yeah unfortunately this time it is true frankie Lons, the mother of keisha cole has passed away at the age of 61 and here's i'm gonna just show you one of the posts i saw on social media um, this morning, and it was from um, Keisha Cole's niece. This is basically what she posted on her uh, social media, and you know, she, she you can tell from this that her niece is in a lot of pain uh, when she shared the sad news on her social media. She wrote, Dear Grandma Frankie, the call I just got on your birthday. I was just going to come see you this week. I just talked to you. Happy birthday, beautiful, and rest in heaven. Uh, she also said, worst pain ever to see my mama in a body bag on her birthday. Uh, my heart is so effing broke. Today would have been her 61st birthday. Rest in heaven, Frankie. So that is so, so very sad. You guys, keep their family in your, in your prayers. Keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Here's a picture of Keisha Cole and her mother, Frankie. Look like they're sharing a very um, emotional moment right there. Her mother giving her some love, a kiss on the cheek. But yeah, Keisha Cole, she was very vocal, you know, with her mother's addiction. It was no secret. And, and that's one thing that I really, really loved about their reality series, about their family, was, you know, they they were very, they were like an open book. Um, when they were dealing with their struggles and talking about the things that they were going through, talking about Keisha, how she had been adopted, how a lot of the kids had been separated. Um, Keisha tried so hard to keep the family together. Um, you know, she was always trying to be there for her brothers and sisters because she was like the one in the family who, you know, um, who reaped a lot of benefits from her success, you know, in her musical career. So she tried to be there for her family all the time, just like Sam and the rest of them, checking on the mother, you know, trying to keep her clean, trying to keep her off the drugs, trying to keep her motivated. It's really hard to do that when somebody has a very strong addiction. But I do believe that they really tried to be there and support their mother all the way up until the time of her of her death, which again was yesterday on July 18, 2021. So again, everybody, please just keep them in, in your hearts and prayers. Say a prayer for Keisha Cole. If you are following her on social media like I am, give your condolences to her, the sisters, the brothers, nephew, all of them, you guys. And on that note, you guys, thanks for tuning in again. Make sure you like and share the video one more time um, and subscribe to the Hood Table. If you haven't already subscribed to the Hood Table, please and thank you very much and have a great Monday, you guys.